Shalom, peuple de Dieu. Je suis une Congolaise résidant en France. Je viens faire ce témoignage de transformation. Je bénis le Seigneur pour ce que je viens faire. Je viens faire un témoignage de transformation. I bless the Lord for this grace and I apologize for not sharing this sooner. The Lord has transformed me. I used to be possessed by a spirit of theft. When I first arrived here in France, I worked in the clothing stores known as Emmaus. Those who live in France are familiar with these stores. They receive various types of material donations. The people who work their sort through these donations, which include clothes, shoes, bags, jewelry, and many other items. I worked in these stores, and I was truly possessed by the spirit of theft. I stole clothes, bags, shoes, and even money. Some donors forgot to remove money from the pockets of the clothes they donated to Emmaus. Whenever I found money in the pockets of donated clothes, I took it for myself. Even though we were told before starting the job not to take anything, whether it was money, clothes, shoes, or bags, we were not allowed to take anything that didn't belong to us because we were paid and given shopping vouchers. Oh, Lord, thank you. So, I didn't finish my work contract because I got pregnant. When I returned home after giving birth, I started praying to find another job so I wouldn't have to go back there. I prayed and asked for forgiveness for all the wrongs I had done there. I asked for forgiveness for stealing all those things that didn't belong to me. The Lord graced me with a new job, and in this new position, I earn more than I did before. But I had a problem. I couldn't bring myself to buy clothes with my own money because I still had all those clothes I had stolen before. I had plenty of clothes, bags, many branded items, and I couldn't get rid of them. Un jour, j'ai suivi une prédication qui nous dit de se débarrasser et cette parole-là m'avait touché. C'est le jour que j'avais One day, I heard a sermon that spoke about getting rid of stolen things, and that message deeply touched me. That day, I decided to get rid of all those bags, clothes, and shoes. I put everything in bags and decided to return them to where I had taken them from. I asked my husband to come with me, and we loaded everything into the car and took it back to where I had stolen all those clothes. Honestly, I bless the Lord for the grace to be able to get rid of all those things. Even though I had asked for forgiveness, whenever I wore those clothes, I always remembered that I had stolen them. Those clothes, shoes, and bags I wore were not bought with my own money. I remembered that all the time. Despite asking for forgiveness, wearing those clothes always reminded me that I had stolen them. Oh, Lord, thank you for this grace. Now I am joyful. I am at peace. Now I buy my clothes with my own money that I earn honestly. When I wear these clothes and go out, I have no guilt in my heart. I have no remorse in my heart. I am happy to be transformed. I am very glad to receive the word of God every day. Oh, Lord, thank you for your wonders. I was asleep and you have awakened me. Lord, your grace has found me. You awakened me through Kenguka. Oh, Jesus. I bless the Lord for the work he has done through Chris. I bless his children, his wife, and the whole family. I bless all the intercessors and everyone who supports this broadcast. Lord, I also bless all those who testify day and night because their testimonies strengthen us. Lord, thank you. Lord Jesus, transform everyone who hears my testimony and is in the same situation, for you came, Lord, so that we may be saved. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Shalom, I have testified.